Yo, it's Kane, a.k.a. Street the Phantom, back in the place to be. Um, we're going to get into a real good episode real quick, or episode two of the Shinto vlog. But before I do that, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about real quick. Uh, first thing first, um, a lot of people who knew me for like a couple years back with my earlier videos, they probably remember Kid Eskimo was around for a little while. Um, you know, I got love for Kid Eskimo and his brother, you know what I'm saying, um, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm pretty laid back, easy going guy, but, um, for those who are wondering, no, I'm not going to be doing any more work with, uh, Kid Eskimo or his brother <laughs> anymore, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's not I got beef with them or anything or nothing like that, it's just, um, well, I, I was mostly hanging around Kid Eskimo back at the time, but, uh, you know, his brother, you know, I, it's, I, like I said, I got no beef with them or nothing, dude, it's just me, me and Kid Eskimo, dude, we are so different. You know what I mean? Like, the only thing me and Kid Eskimo really have in common is that we both have an interest in rap music. Even though, you know, you know even though I'm listening to the shit that's rap that's way different or whatever. But, um, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's nothing. It, but, like, yeah, like you say, we get along as far as, like, you know, we both understand, like, rap and everything. But, like, um, outside of that, dude, like, you know, very different people. Um, you know, nothing alike at all, like, in real life. You know what I mean? We come together and make a cool demo every now and again, you know what I'm saying, same thing goes for his brother too, like, you know what I mean, um, I, you know what I'm saying, I never really trusted those guys too much, like, every time I hung out with them, it was me coming over their house, I never had them come over here, my house, like, you know what I'm saying, I never felt comfortable with them coming over my crib, but, you know what I'm saying, like I said, I'm not hating on those dudes, you know what I'm saying, like, I wish those dudes best of luck or whatever, it's just, I don't know, dude, I'm a certain dude, and, <laughs> you know, I'm not, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not, try I'm not even trying to get into it, you know, the best of luck to them or whatever, but, um, anyway, let's get into the Shinto vlog, this is Shinto vlog number two, now, all I, I really wanted to do in this one was pretty much add on to this, the Shinto vlog volume one, you know what I'm saying, um, back to that night when I was asleep, now, um, that night when I fell asleep, you know what I'm saying, when I woke up the next morning, you never know what was, guess what was on? Avatar, The Last Airbender, but not just any episode. That episode when they went to the Northern Water Tribe and, uh, Sokka, he saw that girl with the white hair who was the moon spirit. And it was that episode when Aang was freaking out and everything and the, and the girl became <clears throat> the moon spirit and everything. It was so wild. It was so spiritual. That was, probably, that was probably, like, my favorite episode of Avatar, like, or one of them, you know what I mean, The Last Airbender, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, like I said, I was at my grandmother's house that night when I, when I had that dream, you know, my grandmother from my mother's side, I don't, I don't really know too much about my grandmother from my father's side, I was, I mean, I met her before, but I wasn't too close with her, I mean, my grandmother from my mother's side, I still see to this day all the time, you know what I mean, I've always been close with her, but, um, yeah, I was at, I was at my grandmother from my mother's side, that's the house I was sleeping at. For those who are curious, but, um, anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, that, uh, so, that's not even the crazy part, what the, the crazy part was, the, the day after, like, I woke up, like, literally, the, the same day after I woke up from that dream where I met Amaterasu, you know what I'm saying, from the, from that, the day after I met her, there was a bat in my grandmother's house. It must have flew in while I was asleep. You know what I'm saying? The bat flew into my house. And the fucking, um, it was hiding. You know, my grandmother found it. And she told me to sleep upstairs that night. Because, um, you know, it got into my house. I mean, into, into her apartment. And, um, she told me to sleep upstairs at my mom's apartment that night. And, um, I couldn't believe it happened the day after I had that dream. Like, and, you know, my, of course, my aunt, you know, she caught it and everything, but, um, you know, I say she caught the bat and then released it, but, um, it's just so crazy. The bat just me meant so much. It meant that that night really happened that, that, you know, there was a bat there that night. Is that, is the, I can't believe that. You know what I'm saying? And not only the bat that was proof for me, it was just, um, the weeks following after the dream, I felt this energy inside of me. It was, um, it was such a pure energy. 
it was like, I don't know. It was almost like being born again. Like I can't even explain it. Like I know put some, you guys listening probably think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not even like, I remember like, dude, for like a couple of weeks after that dream, dude, I like, I was so like merry and so saintly. I like didn't want to commit any sins. I just want to have all good thoughts. I just wanted to be happy and smiling and doing good things, doing good deeds. I'm never like that, dude. I'm fucking asshole most of the time these days, dude. But I remember those couple of weeks after I, I met her, dude, in that dream, dude. I was so peaceful, so zen, so like a shaman, just like, you know, I'd say nothing could get me. I was just so happy, like nothing could get to me. Like, and, you know, and that energy, it stayed within me for like a number of weeks. You know what I'm saying? And it, it ended up leaving me eventually, but like just from that one night of meeting her, that it gave me so much energy. So and when I knew I felt that energy, I felt God. I didn't know what God was at that time. All I knew was <clears throat> I needed to get closer to God to be closer to her. I thought I had to go to church and be closer to Jesus to be closer to Amaterasu. But little did I find out that she was God herself.